Hey all, welcome to Wonderworld Catacombs. Uh, I haven't been counting, so the uh, next quest after we have collected all the bells after passing from the nine trails. So let's see. So this quest is like uh, we have to place the bells in each of these nine areas and drink them probably in a correct order. So let's go ahead and pass through the labyrinth. But I might want to read this board first in case it provides some good hint. No way, that is just put nine bells in place. And we already knew that. So both on the left and the right we have a labyrinth. Let me go for the left one. The previous quest gave me so much XP that I leveled up. And I have a lot of energy now. That will not be enough. The location is lit, it lit as well and costs over 3.2 million energy, almost 3.3 million. And I have only about 500k. So I will need much more food. But here the cost also involves a feather part. So as you know, those are the difficult areas that consume a lot of energy. But the reward is amazing. This might be a complex labyrinth that's not on a single floor. There are multiple floors. We ended up somewhere to the right of the place where the bales are to be placed. We have multiple gates in each section. So just like the ninth trail where we were solving such a kind of maze. We have something similar here. This path leads to the feather part. I'm not sure if I want to do the feather part right now. But since I found it, why not? Since we have not placed any bells yet. Let me just go for the feather part instead. Interestingly, I did not see a lot of high cost styles. 4600 ones. Maybe a lot of those. Or we might have higher cost styles ahead. But it's nice to see that the feather part area has so many cheaper tiles. I don't know exactly what we are doing. Why is this labyrinth here? Because it does not make any sense to me. Has to be some hint in that. Okay, a lever. Interesting. So the the levers are revealing something. Maybe the symbol, the order in which we have to pull the levers. I don't know if we need to, I mean if you need to figure out the order at all. I mean if you can just watch the video and find out the order then you might as well save millions of energy. Not millions but hundreds of thousands of energy. Because if it's just that you have to enter the correct order in the levers. Then the video will just help you. No need to dig all these tiles like I am digging. Okay, I'm kind of out of energy. I might uh, pause now and continue later with higher energy. That is a big labyrinth. Probably why we... I mean why there are so many cheaper tiles. There are a lot of them. Oh, 
I will pull that lever before we stop just so to see what it reveals. This one has revealed, I mean, removed two stones and told us a number three. So the starfish that is the third lever to be pulled. Similarly, we will have it with others. For now, I am out of energy, so I will stop and continue later. But the bonus just gave me an extra time. Okay, let's see. <coughs> That's a dead end. So let's explore another path. Mm, yes, there is a river here. And it revealed another two stones. Although they were not in the same line, but yes, it has removed two stones. Eventually, we will have to remove all of them, which is why we are finding some more levers. I think this was all from this side. It's time to go to the other side. Yes, this side is pretty much explored, so let's go on to the next side now. I can pretty much do guesswork, but all numbers is too much to guess, and I need have to dig all the tiles. So I will find an accurate order and then I pull them so that you can see it in one go and you can skip all those tiles as well. Okay, we have another lever here, let's pull it. And it reveals number two. So we have three numbers so far. Uh, this path is not done. The numbers are well hidden. I mean, they are not visible with the stones in place. Sometimes objects can be visible with the stones as well, but not with these numbers. Okay, no lever here. This seems to be a mysterious uh, end. It should have been a perfect rectangle or something. But anyway, I, no tile there seems like a hidden one. That is usually the case with such mysterious corners. But not with this one. Maybe we will reach that corner from this side. That is what it looks like. And we might have a lever there. Anyway, let's see. Yes, we have reached that area which I thought was awkward, but no. We have a complete rectangle and we also don't have a lever here. I kind of expected one here but that is not the case. In this corner there might be one. There we go. Okay, so I think we need just one more lever that will reveal the remaining two stones. two stones because there are, are two levers because there are three stones down here might be them 
could be a longer path. Let's see. Okay. Yes, it indeed looks like a long path to that last lever. Not last, two levers. Here is one of them. And it has revealed one. Uh, we don't really need to go to the last level because it's quite obvious the cloud kind of thing is number 5. But since I dig all the tiles, I'm just going to go ahead. Okay, no lever here. This gate might just have one. <coughs> Perhaps somewhere around here. here interesting so where is that level which I missed has to be somewhere mm, I don't know okay let me count one two three four and there's five all of them I have uh, turned this is six seven seven of them uh, but I don't know where I missed one I kind of can figure out what the code will be but then there has to be some river somewhere around I don't know, I might have just missed it in some corner. I don't see any other place to go to. Uh, no, I don't see it anywhere, so I'm just going to enter the code. Mm. A few more times. Is the lever somewhere in the center? Uh, no, that is not the case either. Okay, that is accurately enough energy. Now let me just pull the levers based on what I see. Uh, one, two, three, four, and the only number that is not revealed is this. 5 and 6 there is a stone but it is kind of obvious that there are petals behind that hey what just happened did i miss something mm, i must restart so all the levers are in vertical position 1 2 3 4 and this is 6 yes it has opened now I don't know what I did wrong maybe I pulled one lever twice mistakenly anyway so it's time to get the feather part I just need some energy I'll be back in refilling it so it's time to collect the feather part Actually one mistake that I had made this time is I uh, eat a speed potion and oh wow 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 what just happened wow 230,000 bonus energy thanks to the energy saver I could not be more happier than I am now okay so I was saying 
uh, I made a mistake that I eat a longer speed potion. I still have 16 hours left. If you had seen my previous videos, then I usually avoid this long of a speed potion when I am close to a feather part because feather part of that high cost is not usually worth the speed potion. I usually collect that part in the morning when I have a lot of energy collected overnight. This time something magical happened. I made the mistake and I had to pay nothing for that feather part. I got all the 230,000 energy back. So that's so nice. Anyway, now that I ate that much food, let me do just as much tiles as well. I still don't believe it. 230,000, that's one of the highest bonuses ever possible. Now I must get out of that and try to concentrate on the path because it can be confusing and I have to get to all the 9 bells. This will lead to another bell I guess. So that's the second one, quite far from the first. The first one was here, here, okay, so they are not really same above and below the ground. Above the ground they are left and right, here we have up and down or something. Anyway, let me go back now, I think we have explored enough of this path or not. Not so we have more tiles. Let's see. Still a long way for completion. That's a pretty big maze, of course. I will probably get to another two from this side. There are nine belts and uh, in the very beginning we had seen two different gates so one of the gates might lead to four bells other to five bells with a sapphire. We do have more ties there. Okay, that's an exit, leading to yet another of those places where we have to place the bell. There goes the third one. Okay, uh, now I don't remember which path I came from. was the dead and yes that is so this does not seem to be that bad you just have to remember where you came from
Okay, fourth one done. Sometimes there are three doors and in that case you have to remember which one was the one you came from. Otherwise, no big deal. There aren't like two way doors in single place. gates because I don't remember this possibly is the wrong way I think I've been here let me try the other gate This is the wrong one. I'm not sure of that, but I just found a tile. Uh, I think I'm on the right path. No, that was the wrong path. I ended up in one of those areas where you reach a key. Uh, I mean, a place to place the bell. So which way should I go now? I don't know. This sounds like a good place. came back where I was, I mean, I came back on the same path from where I had returned. Wow, this is quite confusing. to be this gate then I came from here or yes I had visited this this was the wrong area this might be a good one Oh no, I ended up in the wrong place again. Somewhere in the middle I took the wrong exit it seems, so... Let me try going back and take a different exit. This one maybe. Oh yeah, I'm finally back and now I can go to the other side. Sorry to the viewers, I just took a lot of time figuring out where to go. But I'm sure you must understand, you might be in the same situation at some point maybe one of the reasons why you are watching the video so sorry about that delay but we can now continue safely we have a lot of tiles now and i will try to remember all the paths carefully
see so far so good here is an obsidian i just have to remember the way back i just keep entering here and there that's what i don't want to do Before I go there, let me just check out this gate. And this does not seem to lead to an exit, but it did give me a god child, so that's good enough. This one is leading to a bell. That's the fifth one. Let's continue hunting for more. Okay, so no, this was not the right path. I was I'm I'm not very good at remembering paths. We've already reached the sixth bell. Three more to go. Back up, now we have to explore all the paths that we did not explore yet. What did we leave? Okay, here are some more tiles. That was quite a long journey. I was thinking like I'm going wrong. Another obsidian. This seems to have no additional path. I just came from here. I took the wrong path again. Here is one more path that we can go on. We have some tiles there, but we can check them out later. The paths are interconnected after all. This seems to me like at least two more bills we will find from here. But let's hope it's all three of them. Because now I don't remember any other paths that I have not visited. We have two gates at least. No, we just have one gate. Okay, let's go ahead and take it. We can take the tiles later. Am I sure there was nothing else? No. So that was a dead end. And this one is a dead end too. So where are we supposed to go?
Further back, I suppose. Mm, where should I go now? Uh, I think here. We are back at the start, so I don't know where we missed some tiles. This corner section is unexplored. These two pockets are unexplored. Hmm, where should we go? I think we haven't explored much of this, this region, so let me try this one again. Where now? Hmm. I don't know. Let's try here. Okay, that was the only choice. I was thinking there was some other gate down there. I think we have explored all of this. So we might be on the wrong path. Probably. I think I should go back. Going back will mean further back. I should try this side. We had been here, this is not the right place to be. But here we have to go. We have some unexplored areas here. The feather park surely does not go there. So where exactly should we be going? This gate, did we check that out? I think we did. Yes, I'm pretty sure we did. Hmm. So 
where to go now back here maybe let's try this one there is some place which i have not yet visited that was the main entrance no point going there so let's see okay i think i found it Multiple entrances. We have the only one here. We still have three more bells, so I'm not sure how long this is going to last. But at least we have found a few tiles. This was the unexplored corner which we are exploring right now. And looks like we have multiple entrances here. So that's nice. Let's try each of them. We don't have too many tiles either. This looks like we are nearing the end. Is the tile there? And I just ran out of speed potion. I kind of wanted to complete the location, but then I just took a lot of time in finding the tiles, and the speed potion ran out. There are still significant tiles and there is a lot of walking to do. So I might not proceed without a speed potion. I will continue later with a speed potion. Or let's continue because there are around 49 tiles just left. And I think we have found all the paths. So that's okay. Bear with me. All the tiles are probably here itself. Yes, it does seem like we have all the tiles that we need. That is the path to another bell, almost there. Wow, that's magical. A lot of bridges have opened up and we can place that ninth bell directly. And that is, uh, what? Is there an order? Or the rocks and fog in the middle of the abyss to reveal how to play. Rocks and fog. What is that telling us to follow? Okay, this one. Hmm. And how will that help us? Follow it. How are we following it? I don't know. That's probably not the order. Where should we be starting from? 
Oh, I think I know. Uh, accordingly, we should start from here because this is the entrance. So, this is the starting point. From here, we can go to this bell. And this one next. The third, the fourth. It seems like a circular pattern. We just started from the center. I mean from this base point and then going around. This was some extra walking that I did not expect. But uh, Okay, I kind of missed this one, but that's nice because I think that is the central bell and it has opened that final lever, I mean final gate, but we still have something. Okay, we have kind of ritual. This is the examiner that was killed by somebody. So we have the ritual written on this note. Sprinkle water, so the water will go first. There are four of these symbols. I kind of miss a speed potion. I think I should have eaten one before continuing. And because I'm talking, I don't think I can speed up either. Third one was I think. Let me confirm. On top of uh, top of remains is skull. So not the third, the second is skull. Nothing else uh, makes sense. In a place where the rest are grave. Follow the creation of life, which will be an egg. We still have few tiles missed. And I think I know where that last labyrinth we did not dig all the tiles. So let me just quickly complete the quest and we'll do those tiles. And Zamna is back to life and that's a really good news for us. That marks the end of quest. Let me double the reward. Alright, to uh, I mean the next quest will be obtained in the Hapuchu's office but currently we are looking for the missing tiles they are here and some more of them will be back there this gate why is that tile red? thousand would be enough let's see just a few more tiles and sorry for not having a speed potion some more event quests are releasing and I'm not continuing with this account I mean at least for a day so I kind of thought it was useless to eat a speed potion so I just kept on eating one and I kind of wanted to complete the level before we before I get to the events and now I again missed a tile. So again sorry, the last tile finder will, feel, uh, will be quick. But Dinky will go slow. Let's hope I find it quickly. Oh, it's taking me back there. So perhaps I missed uh, in the end or because there are gates everywhere now. It's just taking, using these to direct us to some other gate from where the tile will be near. Okay, I found it without even needing the last tile finder. So, sorry for the slow speed in the end. And thank you for watching. See you in the next quest, which is the final one of the God's quest line in New World.